Yes guys and girls, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video by myself as a 23 and also welcome to the new year, it's now 2022, this will be the first video on the channel in the new year I think, I think, um, hope you guys had a really good Christmas if you do celebrate it and also hope you guys celebrated New Year's uh, as best as you could, whether you were online gaming like I've done in previous years or whether you were out on a smash in a pub like I do most years or whether you were isolating or just stayed at home watching a film I hope that it was a very good New Year's for you um, 2021 was a great year for me we started the channel um, I'm gonna carry on bringing content for you in 2022 I know that midway through 2021 I sort of fell off a little bit you know I, was, I bought my first house and stuff and um, a lot of personal stuff happened outside of YouTube so I was I was inactive for a bit guys but we're over that um, house purchase out of the way and on the topic of purchasing things this video is about how to make um, the daily cap limit on uh, Fallout 76 as you can tell by the um, by the the title of the video so for me there's three ways that I've, I make money on this game um, uh, and I've included one of these ways is a very low level way which we will go through we'll show footage for that we'll show footage for what I think is the best way um, but it's probably for more of an experienced one um, but the first method I want to talk about I don't I feel like I don't really need to to show you any footage for the first method because you know you don't really want to see me just farming daily ops but you know I actually have a video out there for that anyway um, but for me up until a couple months ago until I read the reddit post for the main one um, the best method for me was just farming daily ops guys Daily Ops is so, so, so easy to farm, especially if it's Uplink. If you've got something like Uplink in um, Vault Night, in the Vault, or even um, in the Galleries, it's so easy. You can quickly do the Elders one. And not only that, is you, you got, you're not really aiming to do it as fast as possible. Just go into Daily Ops, take out all the enemies in Uplink, take as long as possible, take as long as you want. Take all the stim packs and just sell the stim packs. Honestly, that is a very, very viable way to make caps daily on this game. It doesn't take long, like an hour's worth of farming, really. Just farm daily a blink over and over and over. Get insane amounts of stim packs. Um, what helps, I find, is using something like this, which is what I have, is a backpack that reduces all chems weight by 90%. Really good perk. Um, but you a uh, really good mod sorry but you can get a perk that does that as well and that, hel that helps you carry so many stim packs look how many stim packs i've got on me now what are you saying i've got 150 normal 205 diluted and 12 supers that's that's hitting the max um caps every day but for me the big big money maker the easiest way possible the one that doesn't require much farming or anything like that but does require quite a big investment is selling serums now there's a couple of um prerequisites for selling serums i would say this is more of an advanced players method um but what you need to have done you need to have joined the enclave if you haven't joined the enclave and got access to the bunker that i'm in not right now which is the uh the white springs bunker go ahead and head on over to abandoned waste dump start a mission there called um buster bunker or bunker busters something like that It'll eventually lead you here where you will join the Enclave and I'll show you exactly where you can get the, the recipes for serums. You want to come into the vault, bang out a little left here, um, go through the elevator door, straight in the elevator. Luckily it's not one of them long loading screens. This for me is the best way to make caps guys. Obviously selling caps, I was doing that for a long long time. Um, selling stim packs, sorry, I was doing that for a long long time before the... Uh, before the new version of daily ops come out so it's quite easy because i was just doing uplink all the time head down those stairs where i just went down into the science wing is where we want to go straight left then we'll go into the right side here and you can see that we got a bunch of terminals all terminals are the same they're just shops essentially um and what you will notice in the notes tab we have the recipe for the serums for the mutations. Now, guys, I know 17,500 is a lot of caps. It's a big investment, don't get me wrong. Um, but what the best way for me, the best way I can tell you to save up money for a serum is just selling some of them rare plans you get in daily ops. Um, super mutants in a tube, sleeping bag, um, quite a lot of those rare plans in daily ops that I tend to get all the time. 
they sell for like 8,000 to 10,000 in my vending machine. So make use of selling legendary weapons in your vend to get you to the original 17,500. And once you've done that, it's just passive income. Obviously, you're going to be needing to use um, Flux to craft this, which is why I say it's more of an advanced player's method. But the one I would go for, guys, is Speed Demon. Um, the reason why is when you craft Speed Demon, it requires the yellow, um, yellow cake stable flux which i think is probably the easiest one to farm um, if you don't know how to farm flux it's, it's very easy you just head into a new zone literally all the plants that you would normally find around um around the the wasteland once they've been nuked they turn into like radioactive plants there's there's probably plenty of videos out there how to farm flux but um like i said this is more of an advanced player's method so um grab one of these i'd go with speed demon because the yellow cake one's easier less less resource head back to your camp and we're going to craft three of these just only three of these to make the maximum amount of caps from a vendor right guys i'm back at my camp I've, but we've bought the serum now what we need right, is okay. one of these bad boys which is a chemistry station i mean you don't have to have one at your camp if there's one near a, a building near you and you don't have the plans for whatever reason of course you can craft it there but we'll head into this like i said we're going to need flux but fortunately, we need the easiest flux to find. Now, I have so much scrap on flux, guys. Um, I'm part of a, a Discord, um, a couple of Fallout Discords, and fortunately enough, people recognize that I, I made YouTube videos and stuff and, and helped me out, giving me loads of stuff, which is pretty cool, man. Like, look, I got unnatural amounts of junk. Look at it. It's an absolute madness. Um, whether or not they were legit the way they gave them to me, I don't know, but yeah, I've, I've been donated all this junk. Um, we're going to craft one of these, speed demon, not one, sorry, three. We only need three, guys. Three is all we need, which means if you were to craft, say, 15 to 20, oh, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21 of these, you'd be sorted for the whole week. You'd get max caps on the vendors for the whole week. So we're going to craft three. I hope you enjoyed that quick maps here, guys. Oh, look at how we got to level up. Maybe I should clickbait here and say, how's it level up really fast? <laughs> um, fortunately, I got a vending machine. I keep calling them vending machines, but fortunately, I got a train station uh, just over here by my by my yard. So we'll go through here, jump in here, and you're going to see the price, guys. I've got my unyielding armor on. You know, look, my charisma's up at 21. Everyone knows if you want if you want to sell things for lower prices, you get your charisma to as high a level as possible. You get your hard bag, you know, and all that. You know, the the that best price you can possibly get for this good. is a whopping 500 through. caps, guys. Look at that, 500 caps. I've obviously already um got quite a few today. I've got four on me. I've got to actually craft four. But look, if you if you do that, you get 1500. Now I know what you're saying. You're like, well, hang on. I could only sell a thousand swift. What you do, in my instance anyway, um, I take off three pieces of my unyielding armor. So I take off boom, 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 three pieces of unyielding armor. This takes my charisma down to 12. I'm sure I'm supposed to take it down to 10. Um, and then we go and sell again. Look, dun, 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 dun. We're still being offered 500. Um, normally this would go down to 10. What have I done here? Let me just double check, guys. Thing is, because of the mutations I have and like certain perks I have, I just need you basically just need to get your charisma down to 10. 10 or 9 is the sweet spot. Um, let me take off hard bag and see how much I've had. If I'll put on a one star hard bag, and I think that'll I think Previously, every star in hard bag is like three charisma tail. points, isn't it? So, um Line Normally I can get three. this down to 390, uh, 490, but look, it's 450 now. So that's that's all you really need to do there. If I was to sell three there, I'm selling them for 1,350. Okay, I'm losing out on 50 caps of the maximum. You know, oh well. You're probably going to have plenty of stuff in there anyway, like some stim packs. So yeah, that's the, the advanced method. Um, I did see this on Reddit months and months ago, which is what made me change from selling stim packs i can't remember the name of the guy who posted it i am entirely sorry dude if uh if i haven't credited you there but yeah that's a method i've been using for months now guys but before that farm the hell out of daily ops and just sell the stim packs guys same thing 
Get your charisma as high as possible. Sell the stim packs, stim packs, stim packs, stim packs. The amount of stim packs you get on um, daily ops is absolutely mental, and it, you don't, you're not looking to to do it as best as possible either. You're looking to just get as many stim packs as possible. You don't care about the the fastest rank because you will have already done it the first time through that playthrough. Um, let's see how much uh, the stim packs are selling when my Max out, so they're selling at 10. So look at that. That's if I was to sell all them there, you're looking at 1150. Then I got the diluted ones as well, looking at another 800. S super ones there, you're looking at 180. I don't really sell my supers, but stim packs are a very, very viable option to get your max caps. Also, industrial water purifiers in your camp. Um, that was never a method that I like to use because I would always forget to go back and farm my camp. But let's say, for example, if you put your camp somewhere by here. Dun, 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 dun. There's plenty of water. You could bang in some in a bunch of industrial sized um, water purifiers there. Keep coming back every is it every 30 minutes I think they uh, they max out or every hour. Keep coming back, get a maximum amount of purified water, take it to the vending machine and sell them and, and get your daily your daily limit. There's there's options guys. I've shown you footage wise the main one, but honestly farming daily ops so much easier if you can't if you don't have the right resources to do this one, um, this method, which by far is the easiest, quickest, laziest one. But I also understand that I'm very lucky to have all that material and resource. And now for you guys at a very low level, I want to show you a quick method to make caps that doesn't involve getting your maximum amount of um, caps. It gives you, this method gives you like 50 caps every um, every like minute and a half, two minutes, depending on, on your build. So I, I do want to show love for the lower level guys, because when I first got Fallout um, 76, which is like February of last year, I think, February of last year, something like that, when I first got Fallout 76, I swore by this method, man. I was making so much caps, right? Like, naturally, the first thing I did, I just jumped on Fallout 76, jumped on YouTube, was like, oh, what's the best gun to use? I wanted to get a handmade gun plan, and then this is the method I used. So, what you're going to want to do, guys, is head over to Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Now we're at Sunny Top Ski Lanes. First thing I'll do, if I'm low level, I crouch, because you will be seeing some super mutants. Um, super mutants are not really a fuss to me at the moment, so you come left, straight across here. Oh, sorry guys, it's worth mentioning, you will have to have talked to the um, the Scout Pioneer and started the Scout Pioneer missions actually, so let me just quickly touch upon that. You head up to, um, where is it actually? It's, it's up here, isn't it? Is it here, Lock Holmes? It's somewhere up here, uh, Kitty's Corner Cabins, I think it is actually, is that the right one? It's somewhere up there, I completely forgot where it is guys, it's been so long. It might even be that, actually it's that. You head to the Pioneer Scout Camp, talk to the to the little robot Don there, and he'll enlist you as a uh, as a scout. And then what you're going to want to do is head here and activate this uh, little intercom, and it's going to start a little race. Like I said, you're only going to get 50 caps every minute and a half to two minutes, depending on how quick your your guy is because of agility and stuff like that. But as a low level, it's such a easy thing to do. Now you wait for him to say go. And then you head forward, but there's traps. So we're going to disarm this one. I'm going to show you where all the traps are. There's a grenade there. I'm going to jump out of the way. Um, there's a bear trap here. Just keep going down. There's this here. You can see I've got um, a timer up there. You get three minutes to complete this. So you've got plenty of time on your first try to just disarm all of these, these weapons, these explosives, these traps. Look at them all. Once you've done them once, that's it, they'll they'll be permanently deactivated. So we've got another line landmine there. Take out that. Another grenade. There's plenty of grenades here, guys. When you are low level, you you're not gonna wanna run through them as dangerously as I am, I guess. Um disarm the bear trap. Keep following the um the path down. There's a little missile launcher here as well. Um tripwire here guys. Uh, free missile launcher there, they just missed us. If if you needed a missile launcher, you can scrap it down. You've got a flamethrower here. Like, obviously, if you're low level guys, um, you don't really need to be wasting your bullets on them flamethrowers. You can just use a machete or something on them. And there's one under here. So we'll take this out. And we get back up onto, onto the path. 
over the bridge. There's a, a mad little dead body that flings by here. Why is he not flinging? Oh, a bit of a delayed one, man. And then you're in right to the last ones. Don't worry about these super mutants. They literally 9 out of 10 times do not attack you. But as you can see just there, we had 50 caps. All you do, you go straight back up and do it again. You get a decent amount of XP as well as low level, guys. You get your stim packs, your purified waters, grenades, um, mines, and things like that for completing the quest. I guess this is a, this is a glitch or an exploit. I, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I'm a very high level, so it's, it's not worth me doing for 50 caps every time. But at the same time, I'm also able to run and have more AP quicker than what a lot of you guys would be able to at low levels. Just come straight back to the top. And honestly, guys, you just you just do the same thing over and over. Um, but this time, the traps won't be there. So you, you just run this. I'm not going to show myself running through all of that again. Because this video is way longer than I thought it was going to be. I do apologize, guys. Um, yeah, you wait for the guy to stop speaking. I find it best to stand here. God, this brings back such good memories. Or here. Yeah, if you stand a certain... Um, in a certain proximity of that, you'll, you'll get a little wing, so you know that it's started, but obviously as soon as you set on your mask, get set, go, just run down, keep doing the trail, going through the going through the flags, up and down, up and down, up and down, that's how I bought my first handmade plan when, uh, when I first got into Fallout as a low level, obviously I, I did go up quite a few levels as well, because you get a nice amount of XP, and then you can sell the stim packs and purify water if you don't need them, but you probably will if you're low level, so... Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like if you did like it. Um, subscribe to the channel. We continually put out Fallout 76 content. And uh, have a very good new year. Start to the new year. Take it easy.